beautiful, beautiful souls, and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome to the crazy channel that is known as KMK Universe. All right, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderfully beautiful day, wherever you may be on this planet we reside in. I did a poll about a week ago on what pick a card reading you guys wanted to see and y'all really wanted to see what advice your guides have for you. So that is what I am doing today. We have four different piles. We have clear quartz, turquoise, citrine, and opalite. So I will give you guys a couple seconds to feel what you really resonate with. Um, it could be one, it could be multiple. Um, doesn't really matter. There might be different messages and different groups for you. So um, go ahead and decide which crystal is really drawing you in. And we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, put these to the side here. Oh. All right. So the first group, we have clear quartz and I absolutely love this crystal. It's one of my most powerful crystals that I have um, besides my kyanite and obviously my organite pyramid which I absolutely love. It is extremely powerful. Alright so let's see what you guys have. What your guides have to tell you. Alright. A lot of good advice here. Okay, so the first card we have is the Two of Swords. So with this, what you guys are, um, are really trying to um, guide you to do is make a decision. Um, there's a decision that you've been pondering in your life, and it doesn't matter if this is love-related, career-related, family-related, it... Uh, yourself related it doesn't really matter uh there's a decision that you have been tossing back and forth and what they're telling you is to remove this blindfold remove the blindfold and make a decision um they're also strongly pointing to the king of cups right now um so and considering it's right under the Two of Swords, this decision might have you in an emotional uproar because the Cups is all about emotions. So what they're telling you is to really um, calm down and balance out your emotions uh, before you make this decision. They're really, they're really persistent and pretty much shouting at me that you you've pondered and procrastinated on making this decision long enough. And now you just really need to just make it. Just do it and make up your mind. But once your emotions are more in balance. So it's not kind of just a, um, a hasty decision. You've been procrastinating, I feel. But uh, it's because it's very emotional for you. So get your emotions in, in check and balance. And um, that's kind of why the nature communication card came out. Flower energies, fairy energies, elemental messengers. So this card is all about grounding. So really go out in nature. Your your guides are telling you, go out in nature. Um, it's springtime. Well, here in the U.S., it is springtime. Things are warming up. Flowers are blooming. Um, you know, fairy spirits are coming out. And everything's, you know, being brought back to life. So it's a very, very grounding time for you. And um, they're, they're really urging you to go out in nature and this will help you. This will help you to, actually, you know what? There we go. We're going to use this from now on. Um, they're really telling you to go out to nature so you can ground your emotions, so you can balance out these emotions, so you can finally make the decision. Um, because, you know, they're, uh, I don't want to say they're getting annoyed because, you know, guides don't. They're very loving and non-judgmental, but at the same time, they push you as well. So they're really pushing you to make a decision on, you know, whatever your situation is. Um, we have the wishing card here. 
and as you can see it's full of nature too I mean this person's like in a grove type thing around a wishing well and surrounded by nature so with this um, again they're telling you to go out in nature um, and make sure when you make this decision it is clear um, I feel as if since this card is out here whatever decision you've been procrastinating and putting off um, it's a wish that you've been trying to manifest and make happen but you also need to put in the work by making the decision and making it happen uh, we also have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so for some of you if this is love related if you're trying to make a decision about like a love relationship your guides are telling you be more independent focus on yourself focus on what you need to do first which is ground ground yourself and get your emotions back into balance um, for others of you, this is just in general. Um, don't rely on other people so heavily. You know, everything that you need, every question you have, all of the answers are within you and within yourself. I mean, every single person on this earth has the knowledge of the universe. You just have to remember it. Go internally and remember it. So don't rely on external sources so much. Don't rely so much on family, friends, um, you know, external influences to help you make this decision. This decision is based on you and you alone. So don't really rely on other people's um, opinions, judgments, um, guidance, because your guides are there to help you make your own decisions. I mean, yeah, they guide you, but in the end it's up to you and we also have spirit initiation so with this um, this is a uh, coming off heavily with uh, intuition you know following your intuition and getting out in nature and grounding yourself is really going to help strengthen your intuition which is also in turn going to balance your emotions out which is in turn going to allow you to make a clear decisive um, decision on whatever you're dealing with so yeah that is um, a, a lot going on here but yeah the advice balance your emotions number one balance your emotions number two go out in nature and ground yourself number three um, focus on yourself don't rely on others focus strictly on your independence and your intuition so these these two spirit and codependency go in hand in hand um, strengthen your intuition and make a decision so that is the advice that your guys guys have to tell you um, also if you need more clarity um, or more information uh, you can book a private reading with me the information for that is in the description so on to the next group Put those over here those I'm done with them. and group number two was the turquoise the beautiful turquoise. I don't know if you can see see the, the beauty in that. All right. Okay. So right off the bat for a group of you, this is about a um a love interest. Um your guides are giving you advice about a love interest that you're concerned about so we have the fool card so trusting in your guides trusting in yourself particularly um, they're telling you to trust yourself but also to trust them to get you to where you need to go the second card we have is getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so for for those of you that um, this resonates as a love interest and you're asking your guides for advice on this love interest um, really get to know this other person like on a soul deep level not the, the ego the physical but on a soul deep level but also get to know yourself more um, go internally and figure out who you are at a soul level not you know not just your ego mind and your ego self and you know 
everything that you know attaches you to this physical plane get to really know who you are underneath all of those layers we also have the hope card so if you're going through kind of like a um, sticky situation or a hard time in this relationship then your guides are telling you there is hope hold out positivity hold out hope um and this is this also goes hand in hand with the fool card trust that things are going to be all right in the long run this is just something that needs to happen we've also got the ten of swords here so an ending of the cycle you know th um your guides are telling you this is coming to an end uh, you may feel defeated exhausted uh, mentally unsure um, maybe you're going back and forth on whether or not this is worth it worth holding on to um, but your guides what I'm seeing here is that things are going to work out in the end um, just hold on to that hope have trust have faith but really get to know each other um, and know yourself for a big for a big part of you knowing yourself more so than knowing um, the other person uh, we also have homecoming so obviously you know if you're going through a breakup or you know a short break to figure things out uh, there will be a homecoming and a reconciliation with uh, those of you that are resonating with a love interest this is um, the, for the majority of you this is about a love interest that you're seeking advice on and then the last card we have is mortality life is brief bright beautiful and yours to live so with this your guides are telling you you know look at all of the beautiful things around you um appreciate everything in the moment appreciate all of the blessings you have um whether that's as simple as the air in your lungs or the beating heart in your chest um or the weather because today is a really beautiful day where I'm at and I am so grateful for how nice it is and um, the wonderful weather I'm I'm kind of a uh, really really burnt from yesterday but I don't care I love it um, so overall recap what your guides are telling you or giving advice to do is have trust have faith have hope Definitely get to know yourself better and get to know the other person if this is a love interest reading. Um, if it's not, you know, definitely getting to know yourself, um, doing some meditation and really going internally to figure out your purpose or, you know, any questions that you've been pondering. Um, also, you know, appreciate what you have. They're telling you to appreciate what you have and see the beauty in every single circumstance every single cycle with the ten of swords um, know that everything is a lesson every day is a lesson um, but yeah so that is what your guides are um, advising you to do if you need more clarity or more information you can book a private reading with me all of the information for that is in the description box below and I hope you guys have a wonderfully beautiful day. Next group here, over there, was Citrine. So if you picked the lovely Citrine, beautiful crystal. Okay, let's see here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is good. Okay. So the first card we have is Eight of Pentacles. So working hard. Um, your guides are telling you what you want and what you desire, what you've been trying to manifest, which I feel as if because this is right um, below, the Ten of Cups is right below the Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, um, fulfillment. Um You've been trying to manifest a lot of fulfillment, um, material gain as well. I mean, Ten of Cups usually isn't about materials. It's more so about emotional fulfillment, um, happiness, joy, etc. Um, 
you've been trying to manifest this, but you also have to meet the universe halfway. You have to meet your guides halfway and you have to put in the work. So, um, what they're telling you is, you know, put in, put in the work and meet them halfway for whatever it is you're trying to manifest. And the next card we have is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And, you know, it's, that's kind of a paradox because we are in control, yet we're not. Like, everything's predetermined and your entire soul contract is predetermined before you come here on earth but at the same time you are in control of what you manifest so it's a complete paradox but um your guys are definitely telling you you know free yourself anything you want in this world can be yours if you put in the work for it and uh meet them halfway we also have the High Priestess of Spirit. So this is intuition. This is about your higher self. This is connecting. Um, this is also uh, connecting with your higher self, but uh, opening your third eye and your crown chakra. There's a lot of purple here. Uh, so opening up your crown chakra, really connecting with your higher self, connecting with your intuition and your your mind's eye. Um, really opening those chakras up. I feel as if some of you. Uh, maybe at a spiritual blockage right now so what they're telling you with this is um for some of you listen to some binaural beats for specifically for opening your third eye chakra or crown chakra um they're telling you to do some meditation with some binaural beats and that will help because the frequency that it will put your brain in will increase and help you open those chakras back up um we also have altar and dedication. So again, this goes hand in hand with the working hard. You have to be dedicated if you want uh, things to manifest in your life. You have to visualize it. You have to act as act and think that you already have it in your possession, whatever you're trying to manifest. Um, so they're telling you, you know, keep the hard work keep the dedication keep visualizing stay positive use the law of attraction in your benefit and then we have managed to be glad create your own happiness regardless of conditions so yeah again it doesn't matter the situation that you're in what matters is your perception of the situation because every situation that we come across in day-to-day -day life is neutral there is no meaning to it whatsoever it is completely neutral and you are the one that gives it meaning whether that is positive or negative how you look at it is what gives it energy and power um to control you or not so again, free yourself from limiting negative thoughts and beliefs and, you know, appreciate what you have in the present moment because you do, you create your own happiness. You can choose to be happy or you can choose to be sad or depressed or angry. And I know that is going to trigger a lot of people, hashtag trigger warning, but you know, it, ultimately it is your decision. You are in control of your emotions and you are in control of how you choose to look at things and situations that arise in your everyday life. So recap, um, what your guys are advising you to do is definitely uh, work on your third eye and crown chakra. Uh, listen to some guided meditation or some binarial beats. For a lot of you, your guides are telling you binarial beats specifically. Um, free yourself. Take back control of your life. Take back control of your emotions, also with the Ten of Cups. Um, appreciate what you have and continue to work hard and be dedicated. Visualize what you want in life and make it happen. Meet the meet the universe and your guides halfway with this. So yes, that is what your guides are advising you to do right now. If you need more clarity on your situation or anything, you can book a private reading with me. All of the info with that will be in the description box. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Moving on to the next group here. Yeah. Finally, we have opalite, beautiful, beautiful crystal. Kind of always want to call that aura quartz. I don't know why, but that's just kind of what it reminds me of. Okay. 
with this. So the first card we have is the Nine of Swords. So you might be up at night overthinking um, or waking up from nightmares, etc. So what your guides are telling you to do with that is calm your mind. Um, so you, you see yourself waking up from a nightmare immediately after that nightmare. Go into a very calming and grounded meditation. Focus on why that nightmare presented itself the way it did um, and try to decipher what that nightmare was about. There is subtle hints in every dream that we have that your subconscious mind and your guides are trying to tell you. So try to determine that. If you're having trouble falling asleep, um, use a guided meditation and that will help as well to get you into a calm and relaxed state to where you're able, or ASMR. ASMR is good too. Um, but that will help you get into a calm and relaxed state to where you're able to sleep. Uh, the next card we have is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So for some of you, uh, you might be up at night because something happened within your family, or maybe this is a past trauma. Um, or something that needs healing from past and you haven't been in communication with your family or and you've kind of been guided to reconcile with them and forgive uh, again forgive you know forgiveness is a very powerful energy and it's not necessarily so much beneficial to the person you're forgiving as it is to you you know forgiveness is about the person who is forgiving not so much about who's on the receiving end if if you get what I'm saying, like forgiveness is more powerful to the person that is giving the forgiveness than it is to um, the person receiving it. It puts you in a very high uh, vibration when you're able to let go and actually forgive. It's very, it's a very freeing experience. And then we also have love. So with this, your guides are telling you don't close off your heart chakra, especially if this is towards your family. Um, because they're always going to be your family. That doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, they're not toxic. You don't have to um, continue a relationship with them. But forgiving them and knowing that they are still your family will also put you in a higher vibration. Because if you close off your heart um, to loving them, you're closing off your heart to loving anybody else as well. Especially yourself. Because your family is a part of you, number one. And, you know, love is the highest vibration that you can in any dimension, in any plane of existence. Love is all that there is. So if you close yourself off from love, you're essentially losing yourself in the process. Because, I mean, we're beings of love. Our soul is a pure light in love. That, that's it. And if you close yourself off to that, then you, essentially you're losing yourself in the process. Um, we also have the world card here, and so what they're telling me with this is uh, there's two different messages for two different groups here, um, that you can have anything that you set your mind to, you can have everything in the world that you want, whether, you know, it's traveling or whatever, finances, whatever, um, you can have that all if you put your mind to it if you allow love into your life and if you're letting if you let go of things that are hindering you you know negative beliefs negative thought systems things that no longer serve you in the present moment and for the other group of you this is about cycles this is about karma and that uh, your guides are telling you that this is something that you need to go through in order to open your heart chakra back up, in order to be able to forgive, in order to be able to sleep peacefully again without interrupting nightmares or, you know, having insane insomnia. Um, this is something that needed to happen. So your guides are telling you, you know, trust the process. This is something that you need to go through and it will benefit you in the long run. And we also have air, imagination. So with this, when this this card came out, my first thought was that your mental state is cloudy as f, cloudy as fudge. Like uh, you see, you see the cloud, all the clouds in this. And what you need to do is be this guy here 
and blow all the rest of the clouds away. Blow it all away. Get that mental clarity back. Get a clear sky going. Um, this also has to do with, you know, the Nine of Swords and, you know, um, both are mental spaces. So be, you know, gain some mental clarity, you know, get rid of the fogginess within your brain. And that sounded, I don't know. I'm just, okay. Sorry guys, I'm just weird, but get rid of the fogginess in your brain, in your mental state. Um, we also have uncertainty. Choose who you will become. So again, this is about, you know, taking control of your life, taking control of who you forgive, taking control of opening your heart chakra, being able to love, um, taking control of these cycles, these lessons, you know, um, understanding that you are in control of how you perceive things. And, you know, by clearing out these clouds, by clearing your mental state, you'll be able to, you know, have all of this. You'll be able to forgive and it will make you feel not so heavy and burdened, you know? So recap real quick what your guides advise you to do. They advise you, meditate. Actually, you know, all of these groups have meditate in it. Meditation is just like essential for life. Um, and I will stand by that. I don't care. Hate me if you want. I don't care. But meditation is essential. Um, be able to forgive. Your, your guides are telling you, you know, forgive the people who need to be forgiven for you. Not necessarily for them, for you. Because that will lighten lighten the load on your shoulders if you are able to forgive and let go of whatever happened. So whether that is with your family, it doesn't have to be. It could be with a friend or whatever. A, a relationship. Whatever. Or yourself. Forgive yourself for mistakes you've made as well. You know, we're humans. We're gonna fuck up. We're gonna make mistakes, but we have the ability to forgive ourselves for it. So, forgive yourself. Open your heart chakra and allow love back in. Don't ever close off your heart chakra because then you essentially lose yourself, which would cause, you know, this the mental fogginess and, you know, staying up in insomnia, etc. So, open your heart chakra. Let love back in. Accept that, you know, there's lessons to be learned every day, there are cycles to go through every day, and it is your choice whether or not you break the cycle and go into a new, more positive cycle. Air. Clear out your mental state, which goes hand in hand with the meditation. And then, choose who you will become. Again, the power is within you. You decide how you live this life you so yep that is your advice from your guides you beautiful people and i hope that uh this helped if you need more clarity on a situation then uh you can book a private reading with me and that will be in the description box below and i hope you guys have a beautiful day